Hello, Full Moon Beaver here. Sorry about that, I would have been speaking straight away. I just had my mic on mute. And we have an obnoxious, woolly, devil creature. Go away. That's it. Right, for my clock tower, we've got the wood planks, cobblestone half slab, wood block, wood plank half slabs, stone brick stairs, gravel and a torch, oak stairs, chisel block, stone brick, cobblestone, Iron bars, fence post, a dark oak door, which looks nice, cobblestone stairs, and we've got ladders and white wool. So, without further ado, we're going to do 15 by 15 base of cobblestone. Uh, so I'm just not very good at counting today, I've had a very long day, I've been out over to Aberystwyth and... Cambrian Mountains, so it's been quite the drive for me. Oh, bugger. Right, there we go. Make sure I've got the right amount here, otherwise it's going to be completely off. There we go, I thought that one was a block short. There we go. So that's going to be our base for our clock tower. I have built one on my world, which I used... Um, a blueprint app for, but for this one I'm going to build my own design. So hopefully you'll like it. That's a wee bit off centre. Okay, so I'll put that off here. No, no that one's off. Ah, right, I get it, I get it. I have to put three in. There we go. That looks much better. Right, now we know where the stairs for the entrance are going. Yep, that's perfect. So we'll stick some cobblestone blocks here. And I'll put some upside down stairs there. That looks rather nice. And we'll put a row of cobblestone along here. This was a suggestion by Jesse, who's just attempted his first medieval build. So fair play to him, he's doing rather well with the modern housing. So it's nice to see him try some new styles. So he wanted to see what I could do with a clock tower, so here you go Jesse. Hope you make use of it. Right corner and then we'll put one down with the spacing all the way along. There we go. And voila. Put one there before we forget. Right. <coughs> Pardon me. Really should stop smoking. Right. We're going to put half slabs in between these steps, except on the corner. Yeah, that looks nice enough. Right, what should we do next? Put these in the corner like so. idea for this. We'll put some stairs in. Actually we'll put two stairs in. Jolly good, that's looking nice. We'll do the same this side. Meet them in the middle. So we'll put one either side there, and uh, you know what, I reckon chiseled block would look well in there like so. Just break up the look of cobble everywhere. Trap these animals in there. <laughs> oh, I'm so cruel. 
Well, they shouldn't be in the way then, should they? So, always when I'm trying to build, I always get these obnoxious little creatures in. There we go. That's looking alright, isn't it? Put that block there like so. And steps in there. You know what? Make use of the gravel of the pathway. And now we are going to put some oak planks in. Put the floor in here and it looks alright, doesn't it? Feel free to change it if you want. This is just my design. You can use the entirety of it or you can use it as part for your build. So it's totally up to you. Uh, I have had a few other offers recently for top 5 world for another top 5 build. Um, if I keep getting more interest I'll happily do another top 5 build part 2. And uh, I'm sure there are loads of worlds out there that are fully deserving. Oh, and by the way, doing these four high, just so you know. But yeah, I really enjoyed the top 5 video myself because there was some great builds there. Especially Ludos. That, that was a fantastic build by WT Delta and his friends. Some serious, serious talent there. And of course, Endless Candy took the, the number one spot. That is one phenomenal build from a phenomenal builder. But uh, if you haven't already seen it, go and give it a watch. You're missing out. Some brilliant. Oh, go away, you silly moo. As I was saying, there were some fantastic builds out there, I'd love to see more of them, so hit me up with a message over at Xbox Live or Twitter on my Facebook page, totally up to you how you contact me. Sadly though, I can only do Xbox One. If you're on any other platform, I'm afraid I won't be able to do it. I am saving up for a PC, so I will be able to cover PC builds as well. Whether anyone takes me serious, because I'm a small YouTube channel, is another thing altogether. But it's something I love doing, so... We'll see how this goes, anyway. 312 subscribers can't be wrong, can they? There's a lot of evil love out there. That sounds wrong. Anywho, so we're going to put a row of stone bricks between these pillars. And then over the blocks of cobble, we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs in. Right, what should we use next? We'll do this first. So on top of the chiselled stone, we're going to put a fence post with a torch on. So when it's night time, there's a bit of light in there. And here, just to break up the cobble stone look, we're going to put some oak stairs in. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Yeah, that's looking well nice. Right. Then in between these pillars, I'm going to do four stacks of two high wooden planks. So there's a space in between them all. There we go. Next, we're going to take these iron bars. And instead of windows, we're just going to put these in. Remember in the medieval era, a clock tower wouldn't have windows, would it really? It's only like the big castle and stuff. Like a church or something would have windows. Oh, speaking of a church, a medieval church. That that'd be interesting. Ah, that's a future idea, I think. What do you reckon, beavlings? So I just had to cut that uh, part of the 
video there, my son decided to wake up, as is his custom. These tiny humans, they just don't care, do they? Love the little chunk to bits, he's ace, but he picks his moments. <laughs> oh, bless him. Right. So you can see we've used the stairs with wooden blocks linking them all together. So underneath them, we're going to put fence posts in. Just give it a bit of exterior detail here. There we are. It's looking nice outside. May take the middle steps out at a later date and put something else in. We'll see about that. But for now, this is going to be the next floor up. Hmm. Where should I put? Hmm. Just thinking about the the way up, like a ladder system, instead of stairs, because we're limited with space inside. If you start putting stairs in, it's going to get take up quite a bit of room. So I'll pull this in here, like so. Skip that one. Just do that. So we could put the ladders in there later. Yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Beaver knows what he's doing. So what we'll do here. the ends here just by the stairs and then everything between it will have wooden posts on. Now I've got an idea how this is going to look. I probably won't have time to fit it in this video but for the next video you'll definitely see what I'm doing. For now I'm going to put these chiseled stone blocks in. So they're going to end up being five high. So what I'm going to do with this clock time, I'm going to have a clock on all four sides. So you'll be all right there. You'll be able to tell the time wherever you're looking at it. All right. Time for some white wool. We'll stick that in there. Oop, not there, there. That's where we want it between these corner posts, pillars, whatever you want to call them. Oh, I'd just like to say, it's coming to the end of the video, as usual, thank you so much for your support on my channel. Thanks for all the comments, the likes, the subscribes, the shares, whatever you're doing to help me out truly appreciate it you're all awesome and let's keep this channel going see how far we can get it say eh? 500 subs is the target let's see if we can get there there's less than 200 to go people thank you for watching i'll see you soon bye, bye.